I want to start out with discussing what the genetic code is because without that knowledge, these experiments have no real importance. The genetic code is three nucleotide sequences, or codons, that code for specific amino acids. This is important because amino acids are the building blocks of proteins and proteins carry out many important functions. Another important note is that the genetic code is nearly universal, so all these rules are applied to nearly all organisms. The first group of researchers that we will look at is Nuremberg and Mate. In the photo here, Nuremberg is on the right and Mate is on the left. This is them performing the PolyU experiment in 1961. Speaking of, this is how the PolyU experiment was carried out. Simply put, a long chain of uracils were mixed with a cell's components that were free-floating. Then, the 20 amino acids were added. Each time, a different amino acid was radioactive. The idea is that if the radioactive tracer is seen after the components are mixed together, then that sequence is what matches the amino acid. My diagram here illustrates the experiment, first adding the polyU chain, then the amino acids, and allowing them to go through translation. Nuremberg and Mate discovered that phenylalanine is the amino acid that is coded by UUU, or the polyU chain, which is shown here. They eventually also identified that AAA codes for lysine and CCC codes for proline. Unfortunately, they could not figure out what GGG codes for with this experiment, but this is important because it was the first codon sequence that was coded for and an idea of how to do it. Next, we see Nuremberg again in the right photo, and we see Phil Leader in the left photo. They combined short mRNA sequences with ribosomes and tRNAs. Again, each time the experiment was done, there was a different amino acid that was radioactive. The contents were mixed and poured over a filter. If the tRNA with the amino acid binds to the mRNA, then it would not pass through the filter, but everything else would. This is how they identified the 61 other codons in their complementary amino acids. We can see this in my diagram here, where the contents are added, mixed, filtered, and in this case we find that AGU codes for serine. Having all of this information led to the creation of the coding dictionary that we all still use today. The key finding from all of this is that 61 codons could be found from Nuremberg and leaders, and overall 64 codons were tested for and their amino acids that they coded for were discovered. I think it's also very important that we know the start and stop codons because that's what is very important when we are reading mRNA, even in class today. Finally, it's definitely worth noting that Nuremberg even won a Nobel Prize for his hard work in deciphering the genetic code.